Welcome back, everybody, to our live show following the Democratic debate in Charleston, South Carolina. Folks, my first guest tonight has been governor of New Jersey and a Republican presidential candidate. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Governor Chris Christie. <laughs> Governor, thanks for being back here. Happy to be back. You're one of the few Republicans who will come on the show. Thank you so much they for being no here. Guts. They have no guts. No guts. Is, is they have no guts, or are you not really a Republican no, anymore? No, I'm a Republican. Are you a Republican? I am a Republican. Do you but do they have everything no Trump says without question? Because no, if you don't, no. you're not a Republican. Well, then uh, maybe I'm not a Republican. Okay. But I. But they. But all the other Republicans have no guts. Okay. This is fun. It is fun. Why isn't wouldn't it? you come here and have fun? Can Look I get at your, all these people. Can I get your cocktail? Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. I know last time we were What do we got here? There you I go. Mean, there we go. Some of this. On we'll what other programs do you drink on there live television? There you go. I got some of that. Got some more of this George uh, Clooney liberal tequila for look you at right that, here. Baby. There you go. There Jesus. you go. Okay. If I drink this, I might be Bernie Sanders by the time we're there done. It's gonna be great. To democracy. To freedom. For freedom. Yes. Well, I didn't know we were doing it like that. Okay, so <laughs> you were here for our the first Democratic debate. Yes. You know, back in June or July or something yeah, like, like that. July, I think it was. Let's twist again like we did last summer. You got this it, is babe. the tenth debate. Um, uh, are you giving me honest answers tonight? Um, mostly. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> but but when I'm gonna lie, I'll tell you. Good. All right. Um, what did you hear tonight over the shouting? <laughs> you know, one of my favorite moments is when Joe Biden told us that 150 million people have been killed by gun violence since Bernie Sanders voted against the Brady Bill. I'm like, there's 300 million people in the country. How did I miss that? Half the country was killed. Mm -hmm. I mean, Joe Biden is like, it's like his head is like a file cabinet drawer, but there are no file folders. <laughs> it's just all this paper, and he goes, how about this? And he pulls it out and just, and he starts saying stuff like you can't even believe. The only thing worse than that tonight was Bloomberg's jokes. Like... He, he, he does not have a great joke writer. I gotta got say that. He's a joke writer. Or, Listen, this yeah. guy... The great thing about debates is it really lets people know who you are. So who is Bloomberg? That's in your, who in your he, opinion. That's who he is. Did you, you... He was mayor while you were governor, you right? You your ass he was. And did you... <laughs> I get a sense that perhaps he's not your favorite mayor of New York City ever. Uh, well, let me just put it this way. Like, today he celebrated the fact that he got David Dinkins endorsement. Like, really? You're gonna get excited about that? They don't even know who you're talking that's, about. I'm telling you. There you go. Ahead. He makes Bill de Blasio look good. Did, um, does, does the mayor of New York treat the mayor... the governor of New Jersey... Like a bridge and tunnel crowd. Let person? me tell you what he said to me one time. Yeah. He let me tell you what he said to me one time. He said to me, "You excited about being governor?" And I said, "Yeah." And he said, "Well, he goes, you know, there's only two jobs, elected jobs in America, worth a crap: mayor of New York and president of the United States. But good for you." Wow. He's a wow. charmer. So. <laughs> So none of this is personal for you, no, no, I'm no. glad to know. Listen, this is I, totally objective guess response what? Here it you. is. Here it is. I know someone who's not going to be likable when I see them. Mm -hmm. And he's not likable. Uh -huh. And to win for president in this Democratic primary, you got to have some of these voters fall in love with you. Okay. And I don't know who's falling in love with the guy who's talking about the naked cowboy when nobody <laughs> in America knows who he's talking about. Well, let, let, let's talk about uh, Bernie tonight because yeah. he's the front You want to talk about Bernie? The, let's do that. Let's do it. The knives were out for Bernie tonight. They were. And his buddy Fidel Castro. Did Healthcare anyone, is did, a human right. It is. Yes, thank you. It's, did anyone make a dent in Bernie tonight? No. Really? really no, really. The, the, the beauty... <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. Right now, are you working for the Russians by pumping up Bernie? I'm on retainer. But, okay, good. Uh, yeah, no, sure. But, but it's a small one, so I'm not working that hard. I understand, sure. You know, Bernie, the great thing about Bernie is that they were basically calling him a Castro loving commie tonight. Yes. And he was like, okay, all right, I am. Now, let's talk about Medicare for all. You know, like, <laughs> he doesn't care. 
He hasn't cared for 30 years. Why do you think that the people, why do you think that he has got, while not uh, the majority of the support in the Democratic Party right now, he's got the plurality, to use a 20 cent word? Because he's one of the only people up there who's actually talking about ideas. Elizabeth Warren talks about ideas. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. No. She talks about all the same ideas no, that she does. No, she, no, no, she used to talk about all the same ideas. Then she backed off of it, and now everybody doesn't like her because the people who are the real progressives don't think she's genuine anymore, and the people with the moderates don't trust her. So she's in no man's land. She's, I disagree. She's, she's I disagree. A, she, and, and her tonight, I mean, seriously, she should have gotten put in the penalty box tonight. Why? What did she do? She ran over on every answer. Just ran right through the stop sign. If and you're going to be the president of the United States, you're not going to let Nora O'Donnell stop you from talking. Well, <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> love, but, you. love you, Nora. Love you. By the way. But if you want to be president, the, you can't listen to a way, TV that means, person. That means everybody on the stage tonight, except for Joe Biden, could be president of the United States. Does <laughs> Nora O'Donnell didn't stop anybody tonight? Look, anybody could be president of the United States because look at the schmuck we have now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing. That's a nice piano. Could you do that again? That's a nice piano riff. I like that. All he's got is good piano riffs, man. He's got man. great piano riffs. So, no, I what... remember, I ran against him. Let's continue to remember that. You ran against Trump? Yeah. Okay, what's it like to debate him? Like, <laughs> what do you, people talk about, like, <laughs> Buttigieg is like, oh, do we really want to see, you know, uh, uh, Bernie versus Trump? Yes. Yeah. Ratings I mean, gold. Maybe so. Well, I don't care about that so much. Is yeah, that sure I, you do. I don't. You I don't. Do you not I care about the ratings country, here? I love my country more than I love my ratings. How about that? I want a good president of the United States. Okay? That's a politician. This is, like a, this is an American. An American. Yeah. You're, okay. <laughs> I know All that's right. what every when they watch the show, that's what everybody's thinking. To Stephen Colbert, American, American hero. hero. Exactly right. <laughs> okay. So if you're if you're we got we, we're live. We got to keep going. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Leave it on my voicemail. Oh now, my God. So what's it like to debate Donald Trump? You can't get a word in edgewise. I mean, it would be like the way all seven of them were talking tonight. Yep. It's the way Donald talked during the debate. He just kept going and talking, and mm -hmm. he'd just get louder and louder. Now, you guys really had Donnie Brooks four years ago. That was not, you know, some sort of debating society up there. You were going after each other hard. It, but you it, it, ate Marco Rubio and spit out his tiny bones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Um... <laughs> You like, so, him? you like that and, guy too? You like that so, guy too? And some might say that that makes me an American hero, but you know, who knows? I mean, I, I, I would tell you though that what this was was like a schoolyard fight. Like everybody's swinging haymakers at each other. They're a little not thirsty. Landing. A little thirsty. They're all desperate. They all look desperate. Except Bernie. Except Bernie. The guy that's in the front saying, isn't desperate. That's why I'm saying Bernie, but when they were going after him, you saw when they went after Bloomberg last week. Yeah. He like went into the witness protection program during the debate. <laughs> yeah, they it's actually like, had to get a binding UN resolution to just pull <laughs> the mean, troops just, out of stop. Bernie's. Stop. Get, 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 get them off of Bloomberg, for God's sake. You know, mm -hmm. they would have stopped the they, they needed, you know, we needed Mark Breland, the guy who threw the towel in on that fight over the weekend. Bloomberg needed that last week. Throw the towel in. He's cut, he's bleeding. Bernie today, nothing though. I mean, they keep yelling at him and he doesn't care. The hands start flailing, and let me tell you one thing. You know, it like, it doesn't matter. He doesn't, that's why I think that he will be a very interesting opponent to Trump. Mm -hmm. Because Trump will yell at him, and Bernie won't care. Now, you're, he you're... Care. He may not even hear him. Who knows? Now, like, you're... <laughs> you, you, uh, you are a fan of the presidents. Yes. Okay, so you can't possibly give me an honest answer, but do you well, think that Bernie can beat him? I think anybody can lose or win an election. Anybody. Right. There are no I, rules anymore, right? There are no rules anymore. Anybody can win or lose an election. So those and MSNBC people freaking out right now about Bernie are being a little premature. Well, they should freak out because you, typically socialists don't do well in America. So it's not like he's the guy you would necessarily socialist pick off the bat. Socialist policies do pretty well in America. Uh, you just can't call no, a socialist. Well, listen. Social he, Security, he Medicare. He calls himself a socialist. Those are socialist policies. we got to take a break because I got the applause. Oh, great. But Thank you. We'll be right back with more Governor Chris Christie. You can answer then.